ladies, to the Wine O'Clock mm. Show, Laura Dunovic and Anna Heinrich. Hello. 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 Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Friday. Happy Ooh, 7 o'clock. Cheers, cheers. Have cheers, cheers. Mm. Ladies, welcome to the show. Thank you. So tell me both. I mean, you, it's been a while since... Um, Obviously, The Bachelor and, and um, Miss World and all that fabulous stuff. What are you guys up to now? Oh, well, God, there's, yeah, yeah. there's, yeah, there's been lots going on. Um, been working with a lot of brands. I'm actually still uh, working as a lawyer. Um, I say part time, but it's yeah. basically once a week. But I'm still in there. Um, so there's always things on the go, um, and I'm like, I'm loving mixing both sort of media and my um, what I have left of it, a law career. So yeah, it's good. Cool. Been busy. So. Yeah, I've been the same, working with like a whole heap of brands and things like that. So I've been working with Natural Instinct, which has been amazing. And then oh, I should say Oral that. B. That's yeah, there we go. <laughs> just drop that in there. <laughs> and then I just got back from living in France, so I was studying while I was away. So yeah, using our brains a little bit, having a little a bit little of fun, bit, just yeah. a little bit. Yeah. And you're, you were saying you're studying uh, nutrition yeah. and health, and I guess that you, you're both aligned because you're now fall into to, to what Tim's doing as well with the... Yeah, he makes me do everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, I've I, last year I was the uh, Nike ambassador yeah. for their NTC tour and half marathon. So last year I did the half marathon. Never done that before. Laura's actually done a few. You've um, done a four. Yeah, which is crazy. Yeah. So um, very much into sort of health and fitness. I haven't sort of studied that, mm. but I think that's just a part of my life now, especially living with someone who is so... And I was actually... I actually did my, um, we have to do like a little CPR course as a little refresher with PT at, through the Australian Institute of Fitness and I did it with Tim. So ah, I did, oh, you. Yeah, really? yeah. Uh, mouth to mouth. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> um, Anna, you said, mentioned that you do criminal law. Is that yes. something that you've always been passionate about you don't want to continue doing? Or? Uh, it actually wasn't something I was ever passionate about. Um, I, I kind of fell into it, like a lot of people when they fall into their jobs and they don't know what to do. So I went to uni, I studied um, arts and I majored in, of all things, anthropology um, and gender studies, uh, slightly kind of off field. But then um, at the end of that, I didn't know what to do. So I, my dad's a lawyer and I thought, I'll go study it because I know if I get that law degree, then I will be able to do sort of what I want. And then when it came to the end of it, um, you had to do your practical legal training. So I went to a firm and I was just working there and they asked me to stay on. So I basically just stayed on and I've sort of been with them ever since. So I've been with them almost over five years. So they've kind of been really supportive. Um, they've let me kind of go on these <laughs> absurd shows and like <laughs> allowed me to stay. Um, so I'm pretty thankful to have a really, really understanding boss. So it, it's allowed me to juggle both. Yeah, yeah. So, lucky, very lucky. We're about to dive in. I think uh, this week we saw the finale of I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out Here. You two have both been in. I think you're in the same show together. Yeah, right? we were. The first together. one. Oh, God. And it was a little surprise because um, you guys were intruders. Yeah. So oh. we came in a week later. Yeah. And I just remember because uh, Tim and I came in together and we thought, oh, this is going to be great. Like, we've got each other. But that was one of the hardest things coming in as a couple because we felt like everyone was almost judging us for being a couple and mm -hmm. being in there together because they didn't have their loved ones. So even though I was upset Tim left, it was probably one of the best things because then I could kind of um, like get in amongst the group and kind of I felt like I was part of the group more. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was an extremely tough experience. I was say, what was one of, is it as hard as it looks on TV? I get, our season, mm. yes, yeah. because yeah. we were the first season. Mm. And you know when they, because it's obviously an overseas format, they get the rule book and they're like, this is how we have to do everything. Yeah. And they took it so serious with mm. us. And I think mm. from what I've heard, the later seasons have sort of loosened up a little bit. Do you think? Have yeah, you watched the, with you food, watched this? yeah, yeah like I've been watching, and they've got, they get floaties, they get, um, yeah. Casey has a guitar, we weren't allowed any no. sort of musical instruments. Because when Tim and I left, and like, I'd lost a lot of weight, and then I think they were a little bit nicer to you guys after yeah, that. Yeah, they started, they realised that they weren't feeding us enough, yeah. um, but everyone thinks that the hardest thing is the trials in there, but I, the hardest thing is literally... Um, sitting there every day doing nothing like you yeah. are so bored and the way I describe Terrific. it is every day because I had chronic fatigue so I can sleep anywhere <laughs> oh, anytime. like right now if I want the only I time that's good <laughs> I would literally sleep six weeks <laughs> but I, that's 
what my mum says to me is the whole show, you just see you in the background sleeping. I was like, oh, that really worked great. in your favour. Yeah, it was a good help. But every single day in there felt like a week and every week mm. felt like a month. Like it is honestly one of the toughest things. Um, well, it was probably the toughest mm. thing I've ever done. I haven't had a child yet, so I've heard that's, yeah, pretty, yeah. that's pretty hard. <laughs> so I'll wait till I have a child and then I'll get back to you. Yeah. Laura, this week um, we saw a young lady go um, and compete for Miss Australia or a Miss World title, you know, because she's wheelchair bound. Unfortunately, she didn't make it through um, the, the, tr the second right, the second round in South Australia. But she hasn't deterred her. She's going to go for the world stage. You've been a Miss Universe Australia uh, finalist and or winner, I think, was yeah, it in two thousand and eight? Yeah. What's some advice, I guess, or what could you? Um, let's talk about that topic, I guess, and, and where she could go. Is it will it be hard for her being in a wheelchair to go any further? Um, I think like from watching I watched like an interview that she did and everything her whole thing was just sort of like one a big component of Miss World is raising money it's beauty mm. with a purpose and I think for her one of her things was to raise awareness to raise money um, and that's what her passion was so that's what she wants to go on and keep doing she said she loved the experience in meeting all the other girls and that and I think with anything that you enter like may it be that may it be the bachelor um, the whole purpose is for me, it's never about the end goal and winning, but it's the experience. Mm. And, you know, for her, she was saying she made a good friend on it and that sort of thing. And, you know, it's like Miss Universe, you know, I made lots of great friends on there that I'm still friends with, you know. Mm. Living overseas, I caught up with a lot of the girls over there and that's what I got out of it. Mm. So I suppose, yeah, there's, and there's so many different pageants and if that's the path she wants to go down, there's lots of little bits and pieces like that out mm. there, so. Do you think the wheelchair will, should even come into factor when no. people look at her? I don't think no. so, I don't know. And it redefines what beauty is, because yeah. you've got to be like, I feel like everyone, especially when you think of a pageant, you always mm. think of beauty as one way, but beauty kind of comes in all different shapes and sizes, mm. different races, and I think that's what she really wanted to kind of get out there, that it doesn't matter if you're in a wheelchair, mm. if you've got a disability, that doesn't make you not like not beautiful. So um, I love that fact, and I love seeing her there. Mm. So uh, hopefully you see more people yeah. with dis disabilities and know that it's it's not an issue at all. Girls, one of my passions is fashion, and I know it is yours too. And you've just come back from, well, and you've just come back from Melbourne, where you've you've watched the Maya Autumn Winter uh, Fashion Runway event. Tell us what we can we see in our wardrobes this season in winter. Uh, well, you can definitely see my partner on the runway. So <laughs> oh, he's he? actually, yeah, he wow. um, he walked for the Sydney Maya. Um, in-store show so yeah he was very very good very creepy my whole family was there um, watching on so uh, you can see some yeah so, <laughs> that was slightly creepy <laughs> um, I don't know some of the things that are a lot of florals um, I know I'm wearing velvet right now a lot of velvet as yeah, well uh, mm -hmm. yeah a lot of texture and also a lot of sort of mitt uh, mix match um, pieces I know um, and colors as well because normally it's sort of very like black and white monochrome mm. um, but there's a lot of sort of um, navy I know I was like <laughs> well I, uh, navy um, yeah. like fuchsia yeah. so a lot of sort of color as well that's going to come through as well mm -hmm. another topic that's sort of arisen and, and it has gone on for a couple of weeks now is the the change having to change the traffic lights from what they think looks like a man figure to now to have these e equality and have female as well as men. There's a I think Sam Armitage comes out and says oh, I've never looked at the the traffic signal to be a man. It's always to be a person. Mm. Do you I'm the same? And yeah. I think why because someone's wearing pants and they have short hair is that a man? I initially. Um, I had the same sort of reaction. I was kind of like, it's so stupid. Like I've never noticed it. What a waste of money. Um, but I know that they were talking about sort of an unconscious bias. Um, and what came to mind was, have you seen the movie Focus um, with Will Smith and Margot Robbie? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's anyway, there's this scene where basically uh, Will Smith goes uh, to a football match and he's uh, betting against this gambler and he loses all his money. And right at the end, he goes, oh, oh like double it or nothing. Thing. If um, if you can pick, um, you can pick anyone on the field um, or anyone off the field, like their number. And if Margot um, gets the same number, and she wasn't in on this at mm. all, um, then um, basically double the money. 
And anyway, he picks a number, Margot Robbie picks it as well. And she's shocked, everyone's shocked, but the gambler just couldn't even believe it. So handed over the money, but basically Will Smith then, because Margot Robbie and Will Smith um, were kind of like a team, but she mm. was fairly new at this or all this sort of, I guess, conning. Yep. And um, anyway, he was telling her what happened afterwards. And basically he said that he was kind of dropping these subtle hints all throughout the day um, with the number 55, which is the number he picked. Right. So throughout the whole day, he kept seeing this number 55 and then he ended up picking that number. And I kind of feel like this is sort of like the traffic light where no one notices it's a man, um, but subconsciously we are affected by it every day because there are all these little subtle hints throughout the day that are mm. sort of a masculine figure and you kind of don't know where um, or how that affects you. So mm. I know we don't know, um, we don't initially look at it as a male, but I think subconsciously, subconsciously it, it like could be man. doing um, us potential harm. Mm. I don't know, that's how I kind of saw it. Even <laughs> and I think there's hints all throughout the day where it's quite masculine, even on the road when you see the, yeah, the, the figure. Mm. Um, but then I also think there's problems when you put a woman in a dress because then people are like, well, I don't even wear dresses. Uh, yeah. and but have you seen the symbol that they're thinking of using? It actually looks like, you know, we need to go to the toilet. You know, it's like yeah. the knees are together or something. I think they should just have something like walk now or yeah. walk or, yeah, or yeah. don't walk. Yeah. But, or I would like to see, you know, in Asia, how they have the um, man that runs and then when it's about to go red, he runs faster. Oh, you he? see the legs move? Ah, really? Okay, yeah, I really but enjoy see, it's that. it's still a man. It's still a man. <laughs> You're like the man. Person. The person. <laughs> the person. <laughs> the person. <laughs> now, before we get into our little, our new game for the season, um, we've got a few viewer questions mm -hmm. and um, I'm just going to shoot them off and, and you can both answer. Um, I'll race you. Yeah. <laughs> what do most people think about you that is absolutely not true? Oh, we can't really raise this. <laughs> um, I, people think I'm a massive smoker because of my voice. Oh, really? Um, <laughs> it's quite husky <laughs> and deep, but no, I don't like smoking. I don't, I've never smoked. I've probably had one puff when I was maybe a teenager because um, mm. my cousin forced me to do it. But um, <laughs> apart from that, yeah, don't smoke. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think with, well, with me, back onto I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. I think with me, people would have thought I was a bit of a princess, which I'm really not. Like I was a bit of a yeah. tomboy growing up. Yeah, yeah. But I think going into the show, like I'm from a family of like all boys and I grew up next door to boys, that sort of thing. So with me, before I went on, I was like, I'm not going to do anything that I'm going to carry with me after. Yeah. You know, like there are some things on there which I was like, <coughs> anything that's tough I can do, but anything that I felt was a bit... I did eat it. Pig's testicles. Oh, did you? <laughs> Is that something you're? <laughs> um, um, yeah, yeah. I carry that with and me then every like, day. <laughs> you know, like, and you know, like, how comedians joke. Traumatised her for life. <laughs> I know. <laughs> nice though, or no? Oh, the eating God, challenges too. are hard. The eating challenges are the hardest. Yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> um, what makes you say, "What was I thinking?" When you look back over your life. <laughs> Fashion um, sense, haircuts. The guys I went on dates with, um, <laughs> the weave I had um, that I got from Bankstown. <laughs> I honestly, do, I had this massive weave that I'd go, all my friends would go out to Bankstown uh, to get it and we just kept going back and it ruined your hair. It was a different, like it was a different colour to your hair. Um, yeah, so probably, I and probably all my hound dog haircut. clothes I wore. Hound dog. Oh, hound dog was amazing. Good I know, dances. it was good. You know. But yeah, I got, I had the mullet haircuts, but like, you know, it was really cool to have the short layer up here and you got that yeah. shape. But I just kept going, kept going to the like point where I had this long, long, mm -hmm. thin, thin layer at the bottom. Oh, like a rat's tail? <laughs> basically it was, like basically it was. And I think it got to the that point where they're nice. like, we're going to have to cut that to start evening your hair out. <laughs> Oh, you have to go to like the real <sighs> short boy cut. Pretty much. Yeah. Girls, are we ready to play a little game? Yeah. Love what game? game? <laughs> it's called the five second rule. I get scared. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Yeah, there's no. Uh, I'm not prepared. We're hitting things from the ground. Yeah, yeah, no. That's the ten second rule, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone says that they eat something of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to name three things of, mm -hmm. and you've got five seconds to name those okay. three things. So it's harder than that because you've got a little. <laughs> You're competitive. I'm so competitive. Oh, wait, so we're competing against each other. We've only yeah, yeah. chosen yeah. to Okay, okay. okay. We are yeah. playing for a little okay. one o'clock goodie bag. Oh, so I you've, really yeah. want that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've got a wine and the wine glass pens, which you can sign all your wine glasses with, Ooh, and um, a nice one o'clock wine glass as well. So we will get going, and Anna, we'll, we'll start with you. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> name three celebrities that are known only by their first name. Um... 
Barry and Merv? <laughs> Boy, I don't even know I'm telling. Oh my God, I Barry and Merv. Barry Hall, Merv Yeah, all the people in the jungle because we've been talking about the jungle so much. I don't even know. Is that, are they known? F they're not even known no, for their first Merv names. Merv kind of is. Merv. Merv. Yeah. That was so bad. <laughs> She's had time to think. <laughs> I'm not doing the same no, one. Oh, okay. Oh, no, okay. That was so hard. Name, Laura, name three things you can't resist. Chocolate, um, sleep, and the holidays. Oh, good girl. No. That is. Yeah, she's like, that was so easy. <laughs> that was so easy. Was... <laughs> Anna, name three annoying things dogs do. Bark, poo, and um, sit on you. <laughs> I don't have a dog. You're getting really anxious. Are you? <laughs> yeah. It's really nerve wracking. <laughs> Laura, name three things people take photos of. Oh, food, holiday destinations, and partners. True. <laughs> Selfies. <laughs> Selfies. Anna, name three things you like to do on the weekend. Uh, eat, sleep, and drink. <laughs> <laughs> cheers. Like, cheers. Cheers, cheers. Laura, name three past gold Logie winners. Um, <laughs> Carrie. <laughs> Carrie. <laughs> no cheating. Oh, I was like, wait, did she? Yeah, yeah, Carrie. I just, yeah. We're even now. I know, no, even. Anna, name three things you do when the power goes out. Um, sing, light candles and hold hands. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Never happens. <laughs> Ever. Uh, Laura. Is, oh, I think Laura's ahead. No, 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 no Anna's ahead. <laughs> Laura, name three Marvel DC superheroes. Um, Superman, Wolverine, and Wonder Woman. Are they all Marvel? <laughs> yeah. Is, is Wolverine, I don't know whether Wolverine's I don't think Wolverine Marvel. Because yeah, X-Men's definitely Marvel. Oh, it is, yeah. Because I was is literally that, that new, because Logan's part of that or something, isn't it? The Super it 10? Yesterday. I used to watch Super 10. Um, I don't know if he's in here. I know that <laughs> intro. <laughs> I know that. I'm really good with jingles. I know that intro off by heart. Anna, oh, I would have failed at that one. Name three daytime show hosts. Um, Sonia Kruger, Sally Obermeter and Tom Williams. Oh, Ooh. she just got in there. I was like, oh, I just didn't know if um, Sonia Kruger's daytime. It's kind of verging. Oh, she yeah, is daytime. Yeah, yeah, She's yeah. just not morning. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I guess nighttime. Laura, <laughs> name three things that make you itch. Three things that make me itch. Mozzies, grass and certain flowers. <laughs> And Anna over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one, Anna. Do we start with you, Anna? No, me. No, oh, no okay. yeah, we did. Anna. No, so one more after this. Yeah. Um, name three ways to say I have to use the bathroom. Need to pee. Gotta go. Need the loo. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever use any of those either. May I be excused? Oh, yeah. May I be excused? Need to head to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. All right, last one, um, Laura. Name three reasons to open your car window. Because something smells in the car, to throw something out which you shouldn't do, <gasps> or because you need to get a party ticket. <laughs> oh. yeah. That is naughty. You do not throw things out the window, Laura. You don't throw things out the window. You didn't say me, other people. <sighs> All right, girls, congratulations. <gasps> I, it won? says that you've tied. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. That was... it means we've got to share our present. Share. No, you get one. I'll have well the done, wine. Well done, girls. <laughs> Thank you. Do a little gift. Oh, oh. bag. Okay, okay, we seriously did not tie. <laughs> yeah. Come on. It's yeah, so you tied, actually. I really anyway. wanted these pens, so I'm excited. Yeah, I know, they're great, aren't they? Yeah. Grab, grab your wines, girls. Yeah. We're going to cheers. To the end of the I love night. a goodie bag. I'm really good on eye contact for cheersing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I can't not do it. Apparently, it's, it's bad luck. It and is when bad I don't really drink. know someone and they're trying to avoid it. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, ladies. Okay. Thank so, you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Yeah. Eye contact, eye contact. Thank you. Um, 7 o'clock, Friday. Be there or be square. See ya. Cheers. Cheers again. <laughs>